Hello, welcome to Radio Linseed, broadcasting to you in pictures from the depth of the Sussex countryside. My name is Derwin Banks and today I'm going to try and demystify essential fats for you. Well, I'm not going to try, I am going to do it. Now, I'm a farmer and I grow linseed and this is the Bible of how to grow it by a wonderful man called John Turner, who I often speak to about things. So when you see a lovely blue field of linseed in the countryside flowering, it looks like a lake. But what you don't think is that's a field of fat growing. In fact, that's what it is. Linseed provides the essential fats omega-3, omega-6 and the other fat omega-9. Now I'm going to try and explain to you exactly what essential fats do in the body. Essential fats are called essential fats not because you need them but more specifically because you can't make them in your body because your body is like a biochemical factory and it can't make essential fats omega-3 and omega-6 but it does make omega-9 which is like olive oil. So olive oil is not all that important to you, but omega-3 and omega-6 are essential fats. The omega-3 most people will be familiar with is the omega-3 in fish, called EPA or DHA. The omega-3 in linseed is called ALA, and that one is the essential fat, and your body can manufacture the DHA and the EPA from ALA. The reason for this is because we came from the middle of a continent, the blueprint we have in our biochemical factory is to get our oils from nuts and seeds and plants. Okay, right, so what do they do? Well, omega-3 is the raw materials for the prostaglandins to make the anti-inflammatory hormones. That's why you see it's good for joints and so on. And omega-6 is the raw materials for the prostaglandins that make the pro-inflammatory hormones and we are Stone Age people still and in those times we had a balance of about one to one so this is about balance so today because of all the cheap vegetable oils sunflower corn oil rapeseed oil uh, and, and soya oil are all high in omega-6 and it's in all the food chain we get far too much omega-6 so consequently we have more inflammatory hormones going on in our body and it's easy to see that because you only have to ask one question and that is what's happening to us we're getting more diseases that begin with inflammation so what's going on is we're having an inflammatory diet from the beginning of life and in fact when mothers are pregnant they still might be eating an inflammatory diet and that might be passed on through breast milk and so on so uh, it's terribly important to eat the proper things we need and essential fats are some of the most important and the reason for that is because they make every single cell membrane in the body it's made of a balance of oils and fats so you can see how critical it is to get that right Anyway, um, as a farmer, I knew very little about this, so I've read and studied it. And some of the books I've used are Udo Erasmus, who has made a real Bible, quite difficult to read, but full of, jagged, of nuggets of information. Another one here about fat nutrition and so on, and uh, another book on this flax recipes, but of course it's really linseed, and in particular uh, this book by Joanna Budvig, who went on to develop a regime, a protocol, to help people with cancer. She really started to investigate essential fats and what they are. So I think that's all for this particular episode, but I will go into it in more detail talking about Joanna Budvig's research and how she came to her conclusions in the next episode. Thank you very much.